Sean Ago is a Yankee who has chosen to make Mississippi his home. Born and raised in New York City, he came here in 1994 to play football for Jackson State. But his playing career was cut short by a car accident less than two months into the season. Sean was paralyzed. He spent six months in the hospital, then returned home to the Big Apple. After that, I went home thinking, you know, there's nothing left for me in Mississippi. Can't play sports. So went back home. I think um, after a few months, I realized I could not make it in New York with my condition because I was not a paraplegia. I was a, a quad. I was still paralyzed with limited function of my hands. So um, I still needed a lot of help. So He chose to return to Mississippi. And within a month of his return, the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services set him up with benefits and a personal care attendant. JSU, along with the MDRS Vocational Rehab Program, put him back in college. From athletic scholarship, thank you to Jackson State, they put me on the academic scholarship. So whatever was left, Voc Rehab took care of my books. Um, I think I was sort of going to school for free. Transportation that was providing, paying for, Jay trying to take me back and forth to school. Sean went on to graduate college, but found it hard to find a job because of his disability. Once again, MDRS had the answer. It was hard, resume everywhere. So Voc Rehab said, well, this is what we'll do. We can place you in a job placement, which at the time I think it was Goodwill. Sean has since built a solid resume, moving from Goodwill to five years with the State Division of Medicaid and now 12 years with the federal government. He wears a New York Yankees hat, but his heart is rooted here in the hospitality state. Mississippi have, have done me some good, and, and I'm happy to be here. But I think I'm still here because of the services that I received from Voc, um, Voc Rehab or Independent Living, Mississippi Department of Rehab Service, put it like that. I don't think I can get the services anywhere else. I don't think I may be able to get, but I don't think I will get the quality of service that I receive here. Sean's case manager is Andrea Schaefer. Andrea has been inspired by his determination to succeed. I think it may have something to do with that football mentality from when he was playing sports and things. Uh, he just, he didn't give up considering everything that's going on with now he's always fought through it or found a way to overcome any obstacles that he's had going on. Recently, Andrea helped Sean overcome a major obstacle. Surgery on his shoulder made it nearly impossible for him to get in and out of bed or the shower on his own. A lift needed to be installed in his home. Very self-independent. I'm able to, to hook everything on without help. After an assessment by the Assistive Technology Division, it was determined that a track lift would better suit Sean's situation. Andrea worked through the process to make sure all the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed to get Sean the more advanced technology than a traditional lift. And this would take me straight to the bathroom. Andrea says that's the reward of working for MDRS. And that's one of the things that I liked being a case manager is that we do things that can literally make or break a person. Like with someone, the lift that he has, it has greatly increased his independence and it's allowed for him to be able to do something else on his own without needing the assistance of others to be able to do it. Sean's uplifting spirit comes from his love of football. And drop back in my chair. How perfect is that? My accident, I consider that the first quarter. Yes, I've had this accident. I may have a losing point, but I want to win, I want to beat it. 
So I think I've passed that fourth quarter because I've worn and I've beat it. I don't let this wheelchair handle me. I've, I'm able to still do, even though I need assistance, but I'm still able to do and provide, you know, for myself. To learn more about opportunities for independence provided by the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services, please visit mdrs.ms.gov.